Did it take three hours to travel nine kilometers? So there's a lot of these questions always, do I convert, uh, do I convert this into like meters per minute? Like I see meters per minute and then conditions. Uh, it is really, it's really either one. I wouldn't get too hung up on it. What I usually do is leave this. Okay, nine kilometers, that's 9,000 meters. And that's all I do. And then convert these to distances. Um, you know, like for instance, number one, forever than I can, so it's greater than 55 meters per minute. These are conversions, 55 meters in one minute. Um, so it travels, assuming it traveled for three hours, 60 minutes in one hour times three hours. That's all the conversion you need to do. Like in chemistry, when you do stoichiometry, you let the units guide you. I want minutes to cancel. Okay, and this will cancel, so I have a total distance. It's three times 60 times 55, three times 18 times 55, and then tack on a zero. So it's 990 and then tack on my zero from here. So it would, if it had done at 55 meters per minute for three hours, it would have gone 9,900, just greater than 9,000, and the speed was greater than that, so that's sufficient. Okay, it's less than 60 meters per minute. Well, if I do 60 meters per minute, well, without doing the math, I know that that's gonna end up as greater than 9,900. Uh, so that's in, in excess of 9,000 meters, but it was less than that, so it could have been anything less than that, so that's not sufficient. One on its own.